Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to part 2 of, of my review of The Land Before Time 10, The Great uh, Long Neck my, Migration. So, even where I left off is where after, um, uh, where, um, where uh, Sarah, Ducky, Petrie, and Spike met, um, Pat, voiced by the late, um, James Gardner, you know. And says that he's, he, he, he's a lone long neck, and he's, um, he's, he's, uh, on his way to, to the place where the long necks meet, you know. And, and, and while, and, and then back at the, um, like, well, like, well, well, when Sarah, Ducky, and Petrie get spiked, like, they come across this, uh, where a small, uh, well, not, oh, this creek and where, where a river is, you know, and ask it, it's, it's too far, it's too far to jump over, you know, and then Pat is with them saying, are you, are you following me, you know, or is there, like, like, um, keep on meeting each other, you know, and, and, it's, but they're really going the same direction, you know, and, like, Sarah tries, tries, you know, she tries to jump it on her own, you know, but she doesn't make it, but Pat, uh, grabs her, you know, and, but, so Pat has another idea, so they all, uh, they all ride on his head and makes him, uh, make, uh, makes them go across, um, you know, he, he stretches out his neck so he can get across the river, you know, you know what I mean? So, and then he goes and jumps on the, the big, the big stone that's in the middle of the river and he starts all, boom, the ground shaking, boom, you know, cause he's, cause he's big, you know? So... So they decided to go to the um, go on together, you know, and and then back at that the the log neck uh, place you can call it, you know, um, and it just shows that um, that a little foot is having a good time, you know, playing with his dad, you know, and uh, Shorty, you know, who who's who's just you know just uh, he's just very alone because you know he's just spend uh, short. Uh, Braun is spending more time with Littlefoot, you know, he's being ignored, you know, he gets mad at Littlefoot, you know, smacks a rock at him, you know, getting, getting angry, saying, you know, who needs you, you know, you're like, you know, Braun is no me longer than you, you know, so he was just, he was just angry, you know, being a jerk, you know, but, um, then, but then, kind of, kind of, then goes back to, um, uh, with uh, Pat and the and the uh, Sarah Duck Petrie and Spike, you know they're walking they're walking across this um this uh, uh land of of, of hardened uh, lava, you know. And and then um. Uh, Pat's foot, you know, um, his one of his pat, Pat's back uh feet, you know, um, is, uh, cra uh. What do you say that um. The, the hardened lava cracks and he then his foot gets caught in some lava you know it gets a root his foot's severely burned you know large burn mark but they get to safety you know and they keep on going um and then a little foot you know he's uh back at the place you know a little foot he's sure that um um wonders if he if if you know since he's with his father maybe one time uh, maybe maybe get a, he can go with his father you know be with him you know but the grandpa tells him, you know, but he, just, but he doesn't want to leave, but he doesn't want to leave his grandparents and said, you know, and they say, you know, um, we'll, we, we'll love him, you know, no matter where you go, you know, no matter where you're at, you know. And then when the, when Pat and the others, they, uh, as they're, um, get, they're, as they're near where they are, they, are, they get chased by a, 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 one of the sharp tooth, you know, and they end up, a little bit here's the, here's the scre um, screams and. Well, Littlefoot like was going after Shorty, who was, who was going to leave out on his own, though. And then, then Petrie, they, they meet Petrie, and then shows them shows them running away from a sharp tooth, you know. Um, Pat tries to fight it off, and then then Bron hears, and he comes comes to the rescue. And then there's another sharp tooth coming out, and then there's another one, you know. Um, they all they're all they're all fighting, they're all hitting, you know. And then they they hit the sharp tooth, and the sharp tooth hits them back, you know. Um, like one sharp tooth you know, bites up Braun on the leg, you know, but uh, they hit, but they hit him. They go rolling, rolling down the hill, you know, down the slope, steep slope, you know. And as all the all long necks, just, they look on, you know, and Grandpa and Grandma Longneck, they go on to help and fight, fight them as well, you know. And then as then as they dry as as they keep on going, they see the sun, you know, and it's about to be being blocked out, you know, which is which they don't know is which they don't know is cold and eclipse, you know. So as they all get on top of the, on top of the, the edges all 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 around the land, you know, the standing on top of the, all around the crater, you know, 
and they're sta standing tall, you know, as the as the sun is being blocked out, you know, and the sharp the sharp teeth they all um, they all get scared and they and they run off, you know. And that was and that was a hit, and and Sarah's after it was all over, and uh, um, Sarah's like, um, he says, I can't believe that long neck saved the world, you know, and this is and this is gonna kill my dad, you know. Hell, that was funny. How this is gonna kill my dad, you know. So, so and so anyway, since it's all over, all the other herds they start going their own separate ways, you know, and. Ron, little, little, uh, since he, since he now has has a son, you know, he wanted to, he wants to come along with him, you know, and like I said before, they they understand you know, his grandfather understand understand though, but um, but little Fudd has a change has a change of mind. He decides, decides to to stay with his grandparents and his friends because they need him, you know. He's not he's he's not ready to leave them yet, you know. And his and but his dad first, you know. But at first, though, but but he understands. Yeah, he understands, and he says one day we'll drop by the Great Valley and we'll meet again. You know, that wasn't that that you know that he loves him. You know, and to takes and takes a shorty with him. You know. Um, but then also, but um, Sarah, Ducky, Petrie, Spike, they tell Pat. You know that he was gonna go back on his own. You know, but he tells they but they tell him. You know, why don't you come live with the Great Valley with that with 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 us? You know, there's a lot of room and a lot of uh, no, uh, where the Great Valley is protected is, is protected from sharp teeth. You know, no sharp teeth it, it can get in there. You know, and he says okay. So he, so it ends it, it ends with them. You know, um, um, <clears throat> with uh, Little Foot, his friends, his grandparents, and Pat all walking back to the Great Valley. You know, and then and then uh, and then also what I liked at the <clears throat> as the end of the song is the song called uh, "Best is, uh, Best of Friends" is playing, and the song is is is, is Sang by uh, Olivia Newton John, you know John, Olivia Newton John, you know, famous for playing Sandy and Grease, you know. So she is, ends with, ends with <clears throat> as the credits are going. The song "Best of Best of Friends" is is, is being sang by uh, Olivia Newton John, you know. So, um, which also what then I mentioned in the, in the previous in the in part one, you know, um, like girl, like, like before, like before, like before when a little foot, you know, um, uh, before he leaves the Great Valley, you know, he starts to he says, you know, he wants to go on a um, this might, going on this trip, you know, might be an adventure for him, and it's the star singing a song, that song, Adventuring, you know, I want to go adventuring, you know, that's the first time I, I hear, uh, you, you hear that song, you know, Adventuring, because later on in the series, you know, they, they sing that song constantly, you know, in the, in the, in the show, you know, they sing that song, Adventuring, I want to go adventuring, adventuring, you know, so that's the first time they start, uh, they start singing that song, so I just want to say that, you know. So first time you hear that song, and then later on, constantly through the show, they start singing that song, you know. But uh, but uh, but I like but I like but I also like that song. But I also I like that song that's performed by Olivia Newton John, Best of Friends. You know that was that's a good song, you know. Plus, uh, people also maybe consider that also part of another good thing in this film because that song was sang by Olivia Newton John, you know. So yeah, so um, I so I I enjoy I enjoy uh, I, I I would say. Probably, probably, um, like I said, like I said before, you know, I said one through six, I would say the best in the series. This is, this is another one of the, one of the better ones as well, I, I would say, though, but still, you know, because Kiefer, uh, the voice cast, you know, Kiefer Sutherland, James Garner, they all did, they all did good, did great as, as, uh, as, um, as guest voices in this Land Before Time film, you know, as Braun and Pat, you know, Kiefer Sutherland and James Garner, may he rest in peace, they both did a, they both did a good job. So I give him that, and I also like I, I like that song by uh, Levy Newton John. Um, even in um, so so yeah, this is what this is what I said. Like I said before, this is this is one that's more of the more high rate, more of the highest highest ratings than all the the previous films. You know, next um, than higher ratings than all the on Rotten Tomatoes and um, IMDb more high rated than the previous films. You know. Because maybe people say, consider this is one of the one of the best, one of the better ones in the series, you know. Except except the first one, because the first one's always the, always always the best, you know. So yeah. So I enjoy so uh, so I, I so I hope you enjoy, hope you enjoyed it, you know, and my review of this film. So, and I and essentially like I said I enjoyed the film. So this is this is my review for my two part review of the Lamb Four Time Ten, the Great Long Neck My Long Neck Migration. Um, 
this is, is one is and this one also this one was a little bit longer than the, the other films. This was on um 75 this was like an um 85 minutes long. This is like an hour and 25 minutes, you know, technically, you know. So this one was this was a bit longer than the other films, you know, so but it, but it goes by fast, you know. So um a good special special guest cat uh voices, you know, and good a good soundtrack, you know, especially the song at the end, you know. So, um, so that's my review for The Lamp for Time, 10. The Great, um, um, The Great Log Migration. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay tuned for part 11 of the, of the series. So, thanks, so, stay tuned for that, alright? So, that's all I have to say. So, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next review. Later.